Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to my patrons, my name's Neil, and Merry Christmas. It's time for a Christmas movie, guys, and I was trying to figure out what Christmas movie I wanted to watch for the channel, and it really came down to what haven't I seen yet, what Christmas classic have I not yet seen, and I'm, I'm, I'm in middle age, I've been around a long time, I grew up on the old... Uh, claymation stop-motion animations of the 60s and uh, and a Charlie Brown Christmas and you know the old Grinch and you know all, all, all these classic classics but when I was 10 this movie came out I was the exact target demographic and for some reason I never saw it a Christmas story from 1983 I'm aware of this movie I've existed on the internet for 20 years, so I feel like I'm going to recognize bits. I feel like there's a character... Here's here's what I think I know about this movie. I think there's a scene where a kid licks a frozen flagpole. I feel like there's a character named Ralphie. I feel like maybe this movie takes place in the past, like, the, like pre-1983. And I know it's called The Christmas Story. Like, I really don't know what it's all about. And I figure it's time to change that. So, without further ado, guys, let's watch A Christmas Story from 1983. Merry Christmas. Oh, that old school MGM. I think this is just going to be a straightforward, wholesome Christmas story. That's my, my hope and my expectation. I think this is too early for it to be ironic or cool or anything like that. Oh, but no matter. Christmas was on its way. Lovely, glorious, beautiful Christmas around which the entire kid year revolved. Lots of great old cars. So yeah, this is definitely set in the past. Like, the 50s, I'm guessing? Ah, uh, the good old days. That's what this is supposed to be, right? There's actually a cop directing traffic. Is this pre-traffic light? Higby's corner window was traditionally a high water mark of the pre-Christmas season. Was that the Red Baron's plane? And the Radio Flyers and Raggedy Ann and Andy? Man, I'm old enough to know what these things are. Not to have them necessarily. That's a great nose, kid. Well done. What does Ralphie want? I mean, this is like in... Is this during the war? We're seeing a lot of military stuff. We're seeing some ser some servicemen and women. The holy grail of Christmas... Tanks and air rifles. Daisy air rifles. Range model air rifle. Ralphie wants an air rifle. My mother, grabbing for her copy of Look magazine, would find herself cleverly trapped into reading a Red Rider sales pitch. <laughs> Scheming little kid. What is the name of the Lone Ranger's nephew's horse? Uh, Victor. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. Another one of your silly puzzles. Could be worth 50,000 bucks. To do a crossword? Hurry up, you're going to be late for school. I mean, this is great set deck and stuff, man. Ralphie? What would you like for Christmas? I want an official Red Rider Carbon Action 2 and a Jet Range Ball Air Rifle. Ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out. That deadly phrase was not surmountable by any means known to kiddom. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. I don't want anybody shooting his eye out. Kid's got an interesting laugh. <laughs> oh, gross, kid. You can do better than that. <laughs> that outfit's hilarious. <laughs> I like that they've even got the, the, the sped up old school footage, like from the old silent films. This kid's got a... he's a good chaw spitter. <laughs> Man, this movie is nearly 40 years old now. That's crazy. My father wove a tapestry of obscenity 
that as far as we know is still hanging in space over Lake Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the snowsuit. <laughs> Doesn't even have a zipper. Oh, this is awesome. He's got to pee. Please tell me he's got to pee. What is it? He's got to pee, right? <laughs> he's still swearing at the furnace. What does it look like? I'm doing Kid, kid's got a. A pilot's uh, leather helmet and goggles. Man, this kid's brutal. What a little whiner! <laughs> Man, they had a they had a big uh, old car budget for this. My gosh, what a disruptive class! You now you get a handful of spit and then some serious contraband there. Oh, nice attention to detail though. Still only 48 stars on the flag, so this is pre 1959 for sure. You're full of beans and so's your old man. Oh yeah. You're full yeah, of beans. Yeah, well, we know what's coming here. Yeah. We definitely know what's coming here. Like double dog dare you. Whoa, no, a double serious. dog dare. Schwartz created a slight breach of etiquette. Well, this is not going to be good. He's going to stick. We know what's coming. <laughs> That's, it's good photography. He's stuck. You're going to have to pee on it. <laughs> Come back. I wonder how they actually stuck his tongue there. I genuinely want to know how they did that. Has anyone seen Flick? No one called went for help? Ralph. Why, why would no one tell anyone? Why would no one tell anyone? Right, these are terrible children. They just left him out there. They didn't get help for anything. Why did they... <laughs> why would they not get help? All you need is a little warm water. Wow. They must have had nothing to do that day. Cops and fire, like literally, like uh, what? Those d detectives there as well, or something? <laughs> they tied a bandage on it. <laughs> uh, well, poor flick. Poor flick. <laughs> we knew darn well it was always better not to get caught it's true don't get caught guilt you can handle and everything would work out somehow <laughs> oh man we're using like star wars transitions here if we get a spin wipe man i'm thrilled <laughs> is this the villain <laughs> oh he's davy crockett hat and braces Scott Farkas. Ah! <laughs> this is... Gil. Farkas is crummy little toady. Mean, rotten. Crummy little toady. This is hilarious. Ah! <laughs> Look at these kids. <laughs> oh, rarely had the words poured from my penny pencil with such feverish fluidity. <laughs> The narration's hilarious. It's just so um, verbose. Dad won the $50,000. Maybe don't advertise that to the whole neighborhood. A major prize, a major prize. I won, I won, I won. Is that a dog tail? Serves you right, you smelly buggers. <laughs> Get rich hard work, kid. Come on. Do, do a lot of old timey dads call their kids kid? Oh, this this kid Randy's bugging me already. Oh, oh, can I have some more? My mother had not had a hot meal for herself in fifteen years. Why why can't people help themselves to x to seconds? Now show me how the piggies eat. Is he just gonna eat?
<laughs> what is going on in this movie? <laughs> I'd be worried too, dude, if that was my kid. What's this major prize? Oh, it's big, whatever it is. Is it a new furnace? What is it? It's, it's huge. Just randomly deliver that. But it's that end up. Merry Christmas. Oh, you get the cool boy in a hammer, Ralphie. Delivery men suck sometimes. Ah, fragile. It must be Italian. Is 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 Dad a proper moron? Suddenly, Randy's making more sense. Nice to have a crowbar so handy, though. Would you look at that? What? Terrible. Well, it's an awfully big box for just this lamp. But okay. We're just, we're embracing the ridiculous. Oh, this is a house fire waiting to happen. Or at least a blown fuse, but. Turn off all the lights. I want to see what it looks like in the street. Dad's a nut job. <laughs> How ridiculous. Just a little. <laughs> the kids keep stroking it. It could be seen up and down Cleveland Street. Mom, mom, mom should. <laughs> mom just needs to hide, and the kids keep trying to touch it. It's little orphan Annie. Little orphan Annie. <laughs> it's little orphan Annie time. Brought to you by rich chocolatey Ovaltine. Everybody's theme. Oh, in a in a duotang even. I, knew I was handing Miss Shields a masterpiece. <laughs> Kids' imagination's pretty, uh, wholesome. <laughs> the hat's ridiculous. <laughs> Just drooling as he stares at the window. Kid's super excited about his theme. <laughs> There's no other way home other than past these two knobs. <laughs> Scott Farkas and his toady. <laughs> Mom's fun. Dag gummit. Did we just literally get a dag gummit? Ah, uh, we definitely got a flat tire scene. It was the first time that it had been suggested suicide to go doors. My father with wow. And we got it. There we go. Oh, for one brief moment, I saw all the bolts silhouetted against the lights of the traffic. Oh. <laughs> Only that I was dad's fault. Budge. I said the word. Wow. <laughs> Back when it was a huge deal. Oh, this is so like wholesome. Go on. Back in the car. It was all over. I was dead. No. Help me! <laughs> my my father actually once washed my mouth out with soap. It happened for real. Right. Where did you hear? I blurted out the first name that came to mind. Schwartz! Uh-oh. Why don't you just say your dad? Then you have to make your mother question your parenting abilities. Ratting out your best friend. That's no good. You ratted out your best friend. You're a crummy kid, Ralphie. And then they'd be sorry. <laughs> Time for more imagination. Fun. Poor blind Ralph. Nice, nice stage lights in his, uh, in his, in his glasses there. <laughs> How often are we gonna run up and down this alley? And will Scott Farkas get his? Little bride. Ralphie smiles, well, insane. What is he doing? Merry Christmas. Oh, this kid. Okay, take the hit, Ralph. Did they just spend an entire day of filming the kids running up and down this alley? It's probably not going to be super awesome, dude. I'll be right there, Ma! Be sure to buy Ovaltine. 
<laughs> Attention, it's awesome. Look at that tongue action. <laughs> it's just more advertising. <laughs> he got to say it. Awesome. Nice transition from the toilet to the red cabbage. Did mom break the lamp? I was watering my plant and I... <laughs> we know she hates it. We know dad loves it. This is the stuff people get divorced over. I don't think this is a divorce movie. Get the glue. We're out of glue. <laughs> get it yourself. <laughs> what is up with... I did not expect this movie to be like this. It's, it's absurdist. I thought it was just going to be like a wholesome... We wish you a Merry Christmas type movie. Major award. Why are these guys so scared of these idiots? These guys talk like Dick Tracy villains. They kind of dress like them too. What, why would you do that? C plus. Oh no, it can't be. Mm. Oh no. You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> it's like it was marked by a by a twelve year old. Look at the corduroy on those pants, man. Oh, if that's Farkas, I'm kicking his butt. <laughs> Scott Farkas needs to die. Tiny red hot little flame began to grow. <laughs> punch, punch Scott Farkas for me. Come on, Ralphie, you can do it. And I had gone out of my skull. <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> Scott Farkas is a little bitch. <laughs> Swearing like his dad. Water busted. Oh, that, that was a needed moment. Because Scott Farkas is up there with, like, terrible movie villains of all time. What's the matter? What you crying for? Daddy's gonna kill Ralphie! <laughs> Why don't you come on out of there? No. Okay. You, you, you stay in there with the toxic cleaners. Don't eat a Tide Pod. <laughs> Randy's a messed up little kid. Mom's very understanding. Did you lose your glasses again? Uh, Ralphie? Remember, um, you, you left these on the radio again. Uh, Is Mom just going to cover for him? Uh, I slowly began to realize I was not about to be destroyed. The Chicago Bears. The terror of the Midwest. Good job, Mom. Oh, that's Santa. Of course, Santa. Why hadn't the I thought of that man, before? The head honcho. So you ask for your thing and then you take the slide down? Best Santa line ever. That hat's awesome, by the way, Randy. It begins there. Oh, brutal. They should have gotten line earlier. Like Ralphie suggested. Just let the I like Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Zero hour. It didn't. Who's this weirdo kid? <laughs> oh, they're not gonna get to go. Is this kid gonna take like 20 minutes? Jeez, horrible elves. Horrible elves. Look at the assembly line. Oh, jeez, these elves are terrible. <laughs> uh, it's a fun, freaky out POV shot. Come on, Ralphie, you can do it. Hurry up, the store's closing. My mind had gone blank. How about a nice football? 
Without conscious will, my voice squeaked out, football. Oh, Ralphie, you dropped the ball. <laughs> Get back up there, Ralphie. Kid. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> oh. Hey, see, I told you it was green. <laughs> oh, don't anybody move! <laughs> Man needs to invest in another electrical outlet is what he needs to do instead of a gross of fuses. Just let me get it fixed. Oh, jeez. Why am I so nervous? It's, it's a weird top, but it's otherwise a pretty solid tree. Good volume, lots of tinsel. <laughs> Man, that's like a proper tackle face right into the stairs. He can't get the rifle. It can't be that simple, can it? Yeah, see, this is wrong, too. They're waiting till daylight to wake up. Kids wake up at like 5 a.m. on Christmas morning. Not bad. How do you, how do you open presents in your home? Do you did the kids just get to go right into it, or like my family, it was always a single present at a time, and whoever opened the last present picks the present to give it to the next person. Ralphie, you play Santa this time. Well, who should I start with? The the annual destruction of wrapping wrapping paper, socks. I could use just some socks this year. I get they're not the best thing when you're eight, but. <laughs> Pink bunny slippers? It's a bunny suit? Ralph, go upstairs and try it on. I don't want to. She went to all that trouble to make it. Now go on. She made it. <laughs> who, who, who's, whose sister screwed that up? Is that, is that her sister, mom's sister, or dad's sister? Because someone needs to have a talking to Aunt Clara. And this is for Daddy. A bowling ball? <laughs> Here. <Maybe> you. <laughs> I'm guessing. Well, it's a blue ball. <laughs> His wife gave him blue balls. <laughs> Bunnies with the blue button eyes stared sadly at <laughs> What mother is this? Life at G. Is so blind to this. <laughs> Poor kid. He looks like a deranged Easter bunny. Yeah. Not... Must be her si mom sister. Mm. Look at all the candy. Yeah, this wine's not bad. Yeah, licorice all sorts though. What a waste. What's that over there behind the dad's? Let's go check it out. Did dad get him? Uh... Is that is it as simple as that? It's the right size box. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Look at Dad. Can I try it out, Ma? Can I? Okay. Yeah, go shoot something outside. Okay, Black Bart. Now you get yours. <laughs> I shot my eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. Kid. No, you didn't. Few things brought such swift and terrible retribution on a kid as a pair of busted glasses. No. Just don't step on them. You're going to step on them. Criers don't get air rifles. Ralphie needs to like man up. You stay away from that turkey. It's got an hour to cook. You'll get worms. <laughs> I have pulled it off. I like I like them breaking the fourth wall every so often here. That was that was nice. Honest. Nobody asks me out anymore, mother. Not with these awful pimples. Oh no, the dogs. Did he leave the door open? Chinese food on Christmas Day. I love it. Bowling and Sons Chop Suey Palace. 
<laughs> just like they turn off the W on the neon. Oh, that's a little racist. Do they are they literally doing fa ra 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 ra? Oh, this is terribly racist. Oh, some things don't age well. Some things, some things really don't age well. There's a, a goose, a duck. What? Mom's laughing. Her, like, are they? It's got a neck. I'm glad they had fun with it. <laughs> a little racist fun, apparently, but, you know, still, they had fun with it. Yeah, the early 80s was just a different time for movies. I, I was watching somebody react to Trading Places the other day. And I totally forgot that there was a scene in there with Dan Aykroyd in blackface as a Jamaican. And... Oh, it did not age well at all. Terrible. Sleeping with your gun and your Zeppelin. <sighs> the greatest Christmas gift I had ever received or would ever receive. And there it is. Is this uh, done in Toronto? I see Toronto casting. If you want to shoot a Christmas movie, it's not a bad place to shoot. And also Cleveland. But the studio is Toronto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there we are. Just like that. A, a Christmas story. And, and yeah, it was. It was a... It was fun. It was simple. It was... Let, let, let's put aside the fact that it was made almost 40 years ago. Because cultural norms change, culture changes, and movies change. That's a movie that may not have had a single major special effect, or certainly didn't have any visual effects as far as I can tell. Shot for a low budget, simple script, simple locations, yeah, you're shooting a bunch with kids, but very straightforward, low-budget movie telling a nice story. And movies like that don't get made. Movies like that don't get made and certainly don't go to the theaters anymore. You know where you find movies similar to that now? On Hallmark. Which is fine. There's an audience for that. You know how many, how many Hallmark movies get made in Vancouver every year? There's a swath of Christmas wedding movies being made every July and August here in Vancouver. I swear to God. But this was fun. It felt so... I, I, what, I, what I liked most is the narration. We, we, I mean, they, okay, first of all, the kid. The, the kid playing Ralphie was great. Like, the, the ton of personality, a lot of confidence in there. Like, the, the silliest shit-eating grin. Um, but a clueless little kid. Clueless, clueless kid. <laughs> um, and I love, I love that the big point of the movie is, will he get his dream present or not? That's it. And there was there was nothing convoluted. There weren't hijinks. The, the 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 big drama is he said the f word and he got in a fight. There's something so heartwarmingly wholesome about that. Uh, but I don't know how well that ages. Like I don't like if if you showed that to a ten year old today, would they get get it at all? I'm not sure. Show it to someone like me, and it's like ah, simpler times, right? We, we argue about, you know, is is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Is Lethal Weapon a Christmas movie? Et cetera, et cetera. You know, is Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas movie? But, but some of the classics are just really pretty straightforward stories about Christmas for kids. And that's what this is. And it's stuck around. It's got holding power, which says something. And 
Just because a movie takes place at Christmas doesn't make it a Christmas movie necessarily. It's got to have just a, a good simple message and maybe the message of this is just, you know, if you wish hard enough, sometimes you, sometimes dreams come true, sometimes your your wish happens even when it doesn't look like it will, even when you might get shoot your eye out with that, even when going to see Santa is a terrible experience at the mall or at the department store rather, because I don't think malls were invented in the early 50s. Simple and wholesome, and maybe a bit of a reminder about what Christmas or the holidays can be. Maybe? I don't know. I hope all of you are having an awesome holidays. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas, I hope it's a great one. I have a lot to be thankful for and grateful for this time of year. I'm going to spend Christmas in Los Angeles this year with my brother and his family, my my young niece. I get to spend some time with her for the first time in a long while. She's a walk and talking toddler now and I'm excited to see her. And I have a ton to be grateful for here on the channel. This has been a, a really fun year getting Neil Talks up and running, finding an audience, finding a really cool community that I didn't know existed. And and being surprised at the the amount of really good people who are willing to show their support to somebody like me who's just trying to put themselves out there. So thanks to all of you who've ever commented, who've ever given me a thumbs up, who've ever subscribed. A, a huge particular thanks to those of you who chose to be my patrons that you have no idea how much that means to me and uh, how heartwarming it is to receive that kind of support. Um, but I hope every single person, every single one of you watching this video has an awesome holiday season and an amazing 2022. Until next year, guys. Take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>